Hello viewers, today we will go and learn how we can do good printing and especially the printing of Excel is a little difficult. So I'll first share you some extremely important short keys through which you can make the printing process easy and quicker along with how you can cover the maximum area or the best possible print in Excel. If you learn it, so printing in MS PowerPoint or MS Word is not an issue for you. Let's go and watch it on the screen. Now in front of you is an Excel table. Rows and columns are out of order. There is no borders and there is no color. So let's go and click the middle of that area and Alt H O I. And simply you will see that your columns are in order. Now let's undo it if you can't remember the formula. Go and select this or select the table and when the arrow become double ended double click on the column. So again the same function is performed. Let's select this click this area and Alt H O A for row fittings. Now the rows are automatically Align now. Let's undo it and select the table. And when the arrow become double ended, double click. The same function is performed. This is the best way. Now let's go and give it a border. Alt H B A from your keyboard, and the table have now borders. Let's again undo it. Click the upper area which is called border select the table and select the all borders now this is done so let's go and we will color it or we will centralize it alt h a c from your keyboard and the, all the text would be centralized left right is also available at the same time alt h and h for colors you can manually choose a color however this is the most easy and one and final alt h o r from your keyboard and you can rename your excel sheets so now we are jumping towards the printing control p or file print or you can also select the icon mentioned on the screen and you are watching that a little area is covered on the page so it looks hard we will make it fit so let's go and first select the page size, open letter and most of the time we use in our office or schools, colleges A4 size. So I'm going to select A4 size paper. Again we will select margin area, three margins are mostly available, wide, narrow and normal. In my case I use narrow to use, utilize the maximum page and shape of printing. It's done. Now go and open the page setup. Adjust to let's give it a hundred and it's the area now would be covered a little more landscape and portrait pictures are also in front of you but in this case you are watching that one side of the paper is white. So go again to page setup margin and now click to horizontal. Now it will be centralized on horizontal axis. It's a little more good. Now let's go and page setup margin and let's check vertical so it will be exact at the center of the page. Left, right, top, bottom, these are margins which you would like to uh, keep on your printing. Now go for the optimal size of the printing so i am giving it 150 and adjust to now you are watching that the printing area is out of the page so let's go and press escape you are watching that a dotted line is available so when the arrow become double ended drag it towards the end of the table and now you will see that 118 or the optimal covered area would be visible. Go and select page setup and 118 is available. 
This is the optimal area. However, you can increase, decrease the size of road to cover the more area of the page like this one. I hope you would have liked. Thanks for watching. Please share and subscribe my video.